everyone, Hannah here. Welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah. I have a very Little Mermaid themed unboxing today. I have three new Loungefly items, all Little Mermaid themed. One is a backpack, one is a purse, and the other, which I'm going to show first, is a pin. I'm not a massive pin collector, however, I'm a massive Little Mermaid fan. So they are all from the same collection. It's like the matching set, and I got them all from Forbidden Planet in Wolverhampton and they're all beautiful i do think i am going to keep this pin in the box just because the box is actually really beautiful for the pin i have kind of kept the the um plastic on the outside just to keep it nice but it's a lenticular pin so it's one of those where depending how you angle it it will show kind of a different picture ariel on the front ariel and eric and it's beautiful this one is also a limited edition of 1800 it has that limited edition number on the back I am going to keep it in the box. I don't know if I'm going to display it in front of a backpack because it is quite big, but I had to get this one. This one was $14.99 from Forbidden Planet Wolverhampton and it's beautiful. I love how it has Flounder and Sebastian on the box as well. So quickly showing the pin. Now on to the backpack. So I had to do a full Little Mermaid bound for this one. Ariel and Sisters because this one has sisters on there. If you've seen my videos before, you will know I love anything that has Ariel and sisters on. It seems to be becoming a bit more common, which I am loving, because if it's got all of them on there, I'm going to get it. This one's part of the Lenticular series. Now, it's going to completely escape me, isn't it? There have been other princesses in this same style. There has been, let's see if I can remember, Cinderella, Aurora, Snow White and Ariel. Is it just those four? I nearly bought the Aurora one before. I think it is just those four. And Ariel is the newest of that same collection. I believe there are more princesses to come. Don't know which ones though. They all feature the princess themselves as the main part on the front. Which is... Okay, so, so Ariel is kind of stuck on the top there. You can see through a little bit. However, there is a zip just here. So not all of this is a front pocket. I think it goes kind of just to about there. But there is an ever so small front pocket. You can see the zip just in there. Kind of like a hidden front pocket. So you won't be able to fit much in there. But extra storage. And I love doing that. It's lenticular. So we start that side. We have Ariel and Eric when they're getting married at the end. And then this side is Ariel with the Eric statue when she's got it in her little treasure trove. And I, lo I just love it. So you've got Ariel as a human, Ariel as a mermaid, and then wedding Ariel as well. The, actually, is the pin the same? Oh, I think it is. The pin's the exact same as the front design. Oh, there we go. So it doesn't matter that I can't show the pin off massively because the pin is literally this. So the top, we've got a beautiful purple seashell. Those parts are debossed in as well. So that seashell up top is debossed in with the beautiful little seahorses. They're just so sweet. And you've got all the flower detail down here. You've got a dingle hopper just there as well. See, the detail does continue behind Ariel. I love it. And it's the most beautiful kind of teal blue colour. Because obviously the ocean. Why wouldn't it be? And that lenticular detail as well. And it's Ariel in her pink dress. You don't often see Ariel in her pink dress. But again, love it. On the sides, we have the sisters. We have three sisters on each side. La la la, la la la. And that's like a lighter blue on the sides as well compared to like this slightly... I mean, this isn't dark blue, but it's darker than this blue. So Ariel and sisters... Ariel and Sisters. Oh, the price is still on this one. $79.99. Again, from oh, the planet, got them all. And on the back, we have Ariel as a mermaid. And she's dancing away. Can you dance as a mermaid? She's under, under the sea dancing. She's dancing. With a turtle and some more seahorses. I just love it. Absolutely love this one. As soon as I saw that it had the sisters on the side, I knew I had to get it. So, three, what's the bottom? The bottom is just plain, so I'll do a 360 and then we will open her up and have a look. I'll start at the front though, there we go. So the front, 
and the sides. Now, I have plans for this backpack. I may need help with a certain detail in a moment though, but I'll come on to that in a second. Okay, inner lining. So the inner lining will be the same as in the purse, but I wanted to do the backpack first. And you tend to be able to see the inner linings better in the backpack compared to the purse, just because of all the slots that the purse has. Oh, she's jam-packed. Ariel has an inner pocket. It's even better. Oh, more packaging. What is this lining? It's a little hard to, ooh, this bit's kind of see-through. I can see my hand from there, so this is very thin just there. Not that that makes any difference. So the lining, it's like a darker blue, and there's Ariel, there's the seahorses. Oh, there's actually this sort of design going on around. It's kind of encircled, encircled? It's circled, Ariel, with that glorious inner pocket. So, ooh, goodness me. So it's a slightly darker blue. It's not like really, really, really dark blue, but it's darker than the rest of the blues. And it's beautiful. I love it. Absolutely. Actually, it should be the same. Oh, the badges. Oh, I didn't notice that. The badges on the side as well. So I'm not always. The badges aren't always on the front. I suppose it depends. Like, there wouldn't really be anywhere for it to go on the front. So on the side there. The pocket. Okay, I don't know how well this is going to come up, but this hidden little front pocket, um, she's very squishy, which might help. Inside the pocket, the lenticular detail, oh no, it's upside down. The lenticular detail continues inside that pocket. So it's like they've done that full design and then put the pocket on top. Oh, I love that detail. Oh, it's up. Ooh, so this frame kind of goes upside down. So at the very bottom is this but flip it and put it at the bottom. Oh, I like that. I love that detail. I love when they do that. Glad I checked that little pocket, so I don't always check these pockets. Okay, this is what I need help with. My plan is to take this to Walt Disney World with me, full aerial bound, haven't decided what style. Will I do a skirt, shorts with skirt? Will I do a jumper? It depends how hot it is or how cold it is. I mean, I'm going to wear these ears, aren't I? But I'm going to be doing an aerial bound. Now, my plan is, because you can meet Ariel as a mermaid, I'm not going to walk through Magic Kingdom in my mermaid tail. Oh, I should have put my mermaid tail on. Eh, never mind. I'm not going to walk through Magic Kingdom in a mermaid tail because it's very difficult to manoeuvre, and I don't know if they would actually let me. But I'm going to meet Ariel. She will be full mermaid tail style. Now... I was going to see if Ariel will sign my loungefly for me. Now I know that they can sign different things. So in my head, I'm thinking if I can get quite of a bright red Sharpie, do we think just having Ariel there? Because I was originally thinking up top here, but there's not a huge amount of room and Ariel's signature can be quite big and sometimes she puts bubbles on there. So I was thinking maybe across here, maybe. What would you do? Would you do a red Sharpie? Would you do a different coloured Sharpie? So I want it to show up. I've got a couple of silver Sharpies, but they don't really show up that well. And I don't want it to just be something that will quickly fade. So, she would do a red Sharpie there. Any other colour? I don't think purple would work there very well. Might look a bit too dark. Somebody please let me know. Or if you would put it anywhere else. I don't really want it on the sides because it would cover the sisters. And I don't want it on the back because it's not going to be seen and it might rub off on my back, which, no, 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 we don't want that. But that is the current plan of events. The purse. Now, what was the price? 39 99 for the purse, which can be a wristlet, which does unclip. So you can kind of carry it as a wristlet if you don't want, if you just want to take a little bit of money with you and maybe some keys. But this part, is it going to let me? No, that's gone through there. It does unclip just here, so you can take this part off. But right now the tag has gone through it, so it would still just jingle jangle there anyway. So the front, actually, what is the lenticular part of this before I say it? Oh, I see. 
So it's Ariel and Eric on the sh on, on the ship, on the boat when they're doing the kiss the girl scene, and then the other part is Ursula and Ariel. Okay. And we have King Triton up here as well, which he's kind of like an applique that's been sewn on. So he oh there's a bit of, a bit of fluff. Get off. He's kind of like you can see he goes on the top and the bottom. Hide the details. He goes on the top and the bottom, so he is quite big, but it works. And it has that same sort of detailing around the framing that the backpack and the pin has. So you only need three hands to hold them all up together. And again, that part is debossed in. And we have Lil Flounder and Sebastian as another applique at the bottom, just there. Oh, uh, there we go. So you've got Ariel and Ursula, and then Ariel and Eric when they're in the... I'm not going to sing because we don't want it to rain. But when they do the kiss the girl scene and they're about to kiss and then Flotsam and Jetsam are like, mm -mm, topple the boat. And I had to get this one because, sisters, I'm an only child, but imagine having six, I feel like in real life if six sisters would be a lot, but they're mermaids. I'll have six mermaid sisters. So they're on the back there. And again, nice metallic badge. They don't, Loungefly don't always have metallic badges, some of them have just like a material badge, but for the most part they do tend to have the metal badge. This one's not going to be much of a 360 is it? It's just like a front and a back style. Front and a back. Now the inner lining should be the same. Fix that later. It is a bit of fluff. Get out. Ooh, this one's got a, quite a few compartments. So we have a compartment just here for maybe some, not coins, what's the word? Paper money for your notes. And then we have a lovely coin compartment. I don't tend to buy them without the coin compartment anymore, just because that's not massively practical for me. Can you get something under there as well? Oh, you can. So there's another section to hide some notes. Another section to hide more notes, and then card sections. Oh, that bit, bit of paper. So it is the same inner lining with Ariel. I love how they do this as well. The cutout in here is a starfish shape. So you can see that lining really well there, and the, the cutout is a beautiful little starfish. I love it when they do those details. All these extra little added details. I love them. Oh, me. Right. Actually, oh no, I was just thinking, could I get this signed as well? Maybe there? That would be very small and fiddly though, compared to... That's quite a big area to have Ariel just sign her name. I feel like that part would be a little bit too small. Oh, shimmy the camera. I thought I'd quickly show part of my Little Mermaid collection. There's quite a few. There might be near 20 at this point, so... I got 20. But I'm thinking in my head, because this one has been signed by Jodie Benson herself, when this one, I say when, if, if it goes well, if Ariel does sign this one, should I display them next to each other? Maybe? Possibly? Okay, <laughs> shimmy the camera back, sorry if this part's really bad. Right, but I am going to be doing the reshuffle soon as well, so I'm probably going to have all my Little Mermaid ones together. It does squish, I was just thinking that I'm hugging it that much because I love it, but this one squishes a lot. So I do put the packaging back inside of them. But what I will say, the I keep saying but, the material of this one is very forgiving. There are some backpacks where if you kind of bend them, the bend will stay in the material. This one doesn't seem to do that at all, so I feel like this one is going to withstand a lot. Let me know in the comments, do we think red sharpie just here for Ariel? Can you get glitter sharpies? Imagine a red glitter one. That would be amazing. I'm going to have to see if, like, is that, I don't even know if that's a thing. Because I don't want anything that could easily come off over the glitter come off. This is going to be a journey, isn't it? But let me know what you think. And let me know if you have any of these ones of the other princesses. I'm pretty sure... Cinderella, Aurora and Snow White are the other three. I have a feeling there's only four in the set so far. I'm sure there'll be more to come. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!